It is a fight to keep a neighborhood together. Overcrowding is a big problem in some of Austin schools, but as Chris Betts explains, the solution may tear a South Austin community apart. Uh, Quita and Mike, this map shows just how crowded South Austin's elementary schools are. Now, the worst part is here in red. This is Kiker Elementary. This is a Circle C community. It is at 153% capacity. But the new Southwest Elementary School that's going in down here off of FM 1826 will help relieve a lot of that overcrowding in the Circle C area. So now the concern moves down to here. This is Baranoff Elementary. This is the Shady Hollow area. They're at 126% capacity overcrowded. So the plan is to split up this maybe rezone it and move these students from Baranoff into Kosurik Elementary. That's only at 84%. But that decision has parents packing the room tonight at AISD. Uh, everybody's just really passionate in the neighborhood about keeping it together, right? They don't want like an arbitrary boundary line down a creek to send part of the neighborhood to a different elementary school when all our kids live and play together. Jacob Youngblood, like hundreds of other homeowners in Shady Hollow, is fighting to stop Austin ISD from splitting up their community into two schools, Baranoff and Kosurik Elementary. It's a topic they're passionate about since learning about the potential split a few days ago. I'm sure the cell phone towers were like buzzing because they, like the text message streams are going out of control. You see, Baranoff is where all the kids in Shady Hollow go now. Kosurik is farther away and off a busy Slaughter Road. You couldn't send a kid down Slaughter on a like. What might make one family happy might not make another family happy. Beth Wilson with AISD says they're taking the community's public input seriously, but they have to make tough decisions to ease overcrowding. Right now, there are four zoning options. Two of them keep Shady Hollow together, two others split the community up, and ultimately, it'll be up to the board to decide. Uh, the board will make a final vote in December, and those changes will take effect when the new Southwest School opens. That's the 2020 school year. Quita. Thanks, Chris.